Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting trigonometric expression to simplify. It is 1035 times 1070 times 1075 over 1035 plus 1070 plus 1075 plus cosine 15 over cosine 75. So let's get started by writing the given expression. I will consider E and the first term I would call this is suppose P and the other one I will call it is Q. So ultimately we will be calculating P and Q then we will add. Now let's consider our expression P separately. So I will write P equal to 1035 times 1070 times 1075 divided by 1035 plus 1070 plus 1075 degrees. Now I will consider 35 degree, 70 degree and 75 degree as A, B and C. This I will call A. 70 degrees I will consider B and if 75 degree I will consider C then you can see A plus B plus C equal to 35 degree plus 70 degrees plus 75 degrees and this is equal to 180 degrees. Now take C to the other side. So I will write A plus B equal to 180 degree minus C. Now let's consider tan both sides. So I will write tan A plus B equal to tan 180 minus C. Now if you will draw the quadrant, if you will consider here 0, 90, 180 degrees. So 180 minus C, it will take us in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, sin and cosec only positive, the remaining is negative. So this will become minus tan C. Now I will apply tan A plus B formula. So tan A plus B formula is tan A plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A tan B. tan A tan B. Now right hand side is minus tan C. Now let's cross multiply. So it will become tan A plus tan B equal to minus tan C times 1 minus tan A tan B. So I will write here tan A plus tan B equal to minus tan C times 1 minus tan A tan B. Now multiply RHS, so I will be writing minus tan C and plus tan A tan B tan C in product form. LHS is tan A plus tan B. Now I will take this term to the LHS. So ultimately this will give us one trig identity tan A plus tan B plus tan C equal to tan A times tan B times tan C. Let's put the value of A, B and C. A was 35. So I will write tan 35 plus B was 70. So plus tan 70 and C was 75. So plus tan 75 equal to the product of all three. 35 degrees times tan 70 degrees times tan 75 degree. So if you will look only the expression P, numerator will be cancelled out with the denominator. So I will write P will be equal to tan 35 times tan 70 times tan 75 and same denominator after applying this identity. So I will write tan 35, tan 70, 
1075. So this value will be 1. P equal to 1. Now come to the expression Q. Q was cosine 15 over cos 75. Let me write here. Cos 15 divided by cos 75. So we can write cos 15. Cos 15 can be written as cos 90 minus 75. And cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. So it is sin 75. So ultimately our expression Q is, let me write, sin 75 over cosine 75 which is tan 75 now i will use a plus b formula so i can write it is tan 45 plus 30 75 is 45 plus 30 degrees so tan a plus b formula is applicable now i will apply so tan a plus tan b so tan 45 plus tan 30 divided by 1 minus tan 45 times tan 30. We know that tan 45 is 1, tan 30 is 1 by root 3, 1 minus 1 times 1 by root 3. So if I will take LCM, I will be writing root 3 plus 1 over root 3 that would be cancelled with the denominators denominator root 3 and root 3 minus 1. So this is our Q. Now we can simplify this Q. Let me write our final answer. So expression E this will become P plus Q equal to 1 plus root 3 plus 1 over root 3 minus 1. Now let's simplify. I will take LCM. So I can write it is equal to directly I can write root 3 minus 1 plus root 3 plus 1. So 2 root 3. And in denominator it would be root 3 minus 1. Now rationalize. So 2 root 3 divided by root 3 minus 1. And now I will rationalize. So denominators conjugate is root 3 plus 1. So we will multiply numerator denominator with root 3 plus 1. Now you can see it is a minus b times a plus b in the denominator. So we can write it as 2 root 3, root 3 plus 1 in the numerator. And in denominator it is a square minus b square. So I will write root 3 square minus 1 square. So I will write 2 root 3 in bracket root 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So it is 2 root 3 in bracket root 3 plus 1 denominator is 2. So 2 and 2 will be over. Root 3 times root 3. So it will become 3 plus root 3. This is our final answer. I hope you like this video friends. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye.